My life is in so much limbo right now. However, it should be still a vlog worthy next couple of days. So I'm gonna take you along. So many updates to give. We got packing to do. Should be a good time. Starting my morning in the Dunkin' drive through per usual. I'm gonna grab a coffee to start my day and then we'll get after it. Hi, can I get a large iced coffee, just black? Anything else? That's it. Yeah, no. Thank you. I bought this tripod off Amazon that goes from really small to like body length and this is one of the best purchases I've made in so long. You're gonna get all the angles and vlogs now. I miss my blue light glasses. These are my actual prescription glasses. Usually I just wear contacts but I threw these on this morning. But I lost my really nice blue light glasses in my dorm room at some point during the year and I just haven't gotten a new pair. Should probably do that because I look at my computer screen and my phone all day every day. My room is a disaster. A disaster. I don't know if it's ever been this bad. I've kind of accepted that I'm just gonna have to live out of bags and suitcases this summer because I want to have a fun, spontaneous, travel-filled summer, but I'm also the type of person that loves being settled and having a routine in one space, and those things definitely cannot coexist. Like this past week, I just spontaneously bought plane tickets to go visit my best friend Athena in New York City, and then I got home two days ago, and now I need to pack up to go spend the week in the Cape for my friend Lily's birthday festivities. We're just, we're just all over the place. So, so the agenda is to clean first, then pack, and then get on the road because it's Memorial Day weekend and I really want to avoid traffic as much as possible. This is what I'm living in right now. Not cute, not fun, very not on brand. However, I'm cutting myself some slack because I've been all over the place. You're going to get the fattest cleaning montage right now because I have to unpack, throw stuff in laundry, clean, and then repack. <laughs> We've been doing all this late night talking. I just got off the phone with my mom who said that the weather in the Cape isn't great right now So I'm not gonna rush to get down there. I'm going to take my time do a couple things here I haven't worked out in a couple of days, so I want to get a sweat in I'm gonna go upstairs and do a 12 through 30 on the treadmill I would run outside, but the weather isn't great here either I have a lot of summer plans which I want to fill you in about but I feel like that would be better to do in like a more sit down Q&A type video But some of my larger summer plans like my summer class and my internship don't start for a little bit So it's been really nice to be home and have time to do the things that I love. For example, working out every single day, I'm finally getting back to pleasure reading. I finished November 9th by Colleen Hoover this morning, which I've been working through for the past couple of months, honestly. So now I can start reading the books that I picked up in my last vlog. It feels good to have my mind and my body in the right place and be able to prioritize these things, at least for the next couple of weeks. Perfect Chico, social distance, shoddy, don't get close to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had a lot of problems, but I couldn't keep them. I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot. This is as far as I got before I worked out and showered. At least everything's clean now. I'm going to the Cape for about a week, a little bit over a week actually. So it's not like I'm just packing for a weekend. I need a solid amount of stuff and I haven't really done like my grocery shopping there or my cosmetic shopping there. So I need to bring kind of everything with me. I'm glad that I cleaned before. I like to get everything organized before I travel or go on a little trip so that when I come back, I'm not super overwhelmed. That's my little travel tip. Leave all of your space is clean before you leave. Obviously had to put on the Rory's hoodie for the first Cape vlog of the season. I've been down once and I filmed some TikTok content, but nothing for YouTube. So this is the first vlog of summer 2022 in the Cape. Getting back to my roots, everyone. I'm so excited for Ice Cream Cafe. Switch it up, take it slow, take it slow. Once again, the packing cubes save the day. As to all of my similar vlogs, these will be linked down below. I think everyone, everyone needs a good set of packing cubes in their life. Cannot tell you how much stress and time these have saved me. 
Arguably the most important part of this packing is deciding what books I want to bring. I'm definitely going to bring The Silent Patient with me because I've really been wanting to read a thriller. I'm going for a week, so I feel like I should bring two books because every time I'm going to the beach, I'm going to be reading for a couple hours, so I should be able to get through two books. I think I'm going to bring Daisy Jones and The Six with me as well. Taylor Jenkins Reid is one of my favorite authors. I've really been waiting and wanting to read this, and I'll leave Beach Read till the prime summer months because obviously it's a beach read, so I want to be in that tree summer mentality, you know what I mean? I'm really loving this little library that I'm creating for myself. Of course, I have my From the Library of Matt Travellini stamp too, so I want to start lending out my books too. I also have been thinking, and I really want to do a giveaway this summer with my favorite reads and my favorite products and things like that, so if that sounds interesting, let me know. At this point, I'm just procrastinating getting in the car and driving down, so I'm going to finish packing, get all of my stuff in the car, and I will talk to you in a sec. I honestly love a good road trip. I can put on my playlist and listen to them all the way through. This is also where the theater kid in me comes out because I'll find my favorite musicals and I'll put them on and just like pretend that I'm in the show. I've obviously done this drive many many times so I know where I'm going but I refuse to put it in ways because if there's traffic right now I don't want to know. There is nothing in this world that makes me more violently angry than traffic. I don't know why but it just gets me so riled up. Like I just hate sitting there having no control over my speed or where I can go and at the end of the day I just do not understand traffic as a concept. Why don't we all, as a collective whole, as a community, just step on the gas? Just go. so weird to be vlogging in this room. I'm pretty sure the last time that I vlogged in this bedroom was the video where I submitted all of my college applications. And now I'm done with my first year of college. That's insane. Wait, no, I definitely vlogged in here last summer. Be who you Did I not have a single cape vlog last summer? Wait, hold on. Oh my gosh, I didn't. I didn't have a single cape vlog last summer. That's crazy. So then I was right. The last time that you saw me in this room, I was submitting all of my apps. That's so funny. I step foot in the cape and I immediately crave ice cream. I put some water on to boil right when I got here. I desperately need to go grocery shopping. That will be a tomorrow activity. So the only meal that I'm gonna be able to put together is this brown rice pasta and some rayo sauce. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have a bite. I'm really jealous I don't have whipped cream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm, never mm, has. Mm. I mean <laughs> never. <laughs> Literally never, never has hit it once. Mm. <laughs> you know I realized I didn't what? post a single cape vlog last summer. Isn't that crazy? I haven't vlogged since 2020. That might be my How? last cape vlog. I don't know. I wasn't really here that much last summer, TBH. Comment down below your favorite ice cream flavor. I knew you were going to say that. I literally just said to my vlog before I left that I stepped foot in the cape and I immediately crave ice cream. I think it's just there, it's in the air. It's in the air. Okay, bye, I love you. Happy Sunday. I'm officially in summer mode where I lose track of the days and they all blend together, but it's Sunday. I'm in my mom's bathroom. I'm here alone right now, which usually isn't an issue, but Lily and I watched the weirdest episode of Criminal Minds last night and it freaked me out, so I slept in her bed. I lived through the night, guys. Don't even worry about it. It's absolutely gorgeous weather, so it's definitely gonna be a beach day after I do a couple things. I'm gonna get ready for the day, probably go grab a coffee from the coffee shop that Lily works at because she's working right now. I put on workout clothes because I'm hoping to go for a run before I head to the beach, but post ice cream last night, I spent the entire night unpacking and organizing all of my stuff, and just look how pleasing this is. The summer palette is coming out, it's Memorial Day weekend, so I can finally start wearing white again, which is exciting. Yes, I am one of those people that follows that rule. Everything else went in these drawers, workout clothes, bathing suits, and then my sweatshirts and stuff are down there.
I don't think there's a single feeling better than this one. Post beach, post shower, you're getting ready for dinner. Oh, I miss this so much. Except I have arguably the worst sunburn I have ever had. I don't know what happened. I was putting on sunscreen the entire day. If you know me, you know I'm afraid of sunburns. I don't want wrinkles. I want to protect my skin, but my skin just must not be ready for the sun because my back and my legs are so bad. I will insert a picture. Laid on the beach pretty much the entire day, which is exactly what I wanted to do. We went on a little hot girl walk this afternoon and now I'm getting ready to go back to Lily's for dinner. The B-Day festivities are starting, which is why I'm down here this whole week because it's her birthday. If you're not familiar with who Lily is, she's one of my best friends in the world. Took her to prom last year. She's a queen. She's a queen. This is also the exact vibe that I imagined wearing these oversized shirts. If you are not following me on TikTok, you should be because I've been posting lots of summer clothing hauls, vlogs, things like that. One day I hope to get a larger size of the Noir 29 from Le Labo. This is one of my favorite scents. However, I got these little samples from Barney's when it closed down a couple years ago and they're still lasting me to this day. I don't really know why I'm putting on like a scent in a collar shirt for this dinner because it's kind of grill vibes, but I want to doll up more this summer because it's so fun for me. Today has just been so perfect. The perfect kickoff to summer.